Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, hope you all been getting great mail calls. Anyways, how is everybody doing? Anyways, um, we're going to have a couple of new subscribers to mention uh, here throughout the shave. And uh, so let's take a look at what we're going to be using. Razor, some people might think it's a magic marker, but this is take the cap off, got a razor. It is a Schick repeater type A4 repeater razor. You go ahead in case you ain't familiar with it when you hang on. The head turns up like that because you do like this it's a repeater because you sit there and you pull this down I got a blade in it so you'd pull this down push it up and it would shove the old blade up and out and replace it with a fresh blade this razor was made sometime from I think 1927 to 1931 30 31 32 not sure the blade is of course a Schick injector blade and it's on I don't know fourth third fourth use the soap is this little guy here it's a mystery to me I won a 500 subscriber giveaway on Sledhead's channel got a WSP Model T in the, um, the, the new formula I forget what the formula is called and he threw a couple of samples in this was one of them this I'm not sure what it is all I know is it's an oatmeal based soap and Sledhead ended up getting it from a local artisan. So, real quick, let me take my old Mickey Mouse spoon. And we'll go ahead, cut off a decent chunk of that. Throw it in there in the bowl. I'm going to be lathering in my timeless lather bowl. Let me throw this back in the little bag I got. Pour it. And we'll just end up smushing that down around and go ahead and lather like that. The brush is also a mystery to me. It was given to me by a friend. He said it was his father's. It's been soaking. It is a bore brush. And it is this one. Um, on here, the names mostly fade it, but I believe the first two letters are R U and either E Y, yeah, E Y at the end. The rest of the letters are kind of like rubbed out, and it's got the number 153. And the interesting thing about this brush, why, I don't know, but it comes apart. Maybe you'd stick something down inside, like a styptic pencil or something for travel. So I'm going to go ahead and lather this soap here in the bowl and my face off camera and I'll be back for the first pass. Okay guys, so that whipped up into a, a kind of a, I don't know, not a real thick lather, but let's see how it does. First pass with the grain using the Schick Type A repeater. A little history on the repeater razors from Schick. Oh, that's nice. Um, Lieutenant Colonel. Oh gosh, I can't remember his first name. Schick fought in World War One, and he was really, really fascinated by. Um, the weapons of the time especially the rifles that you just loaded up a clip or magazine razors cutting very nice by the way I got about four days growth but um Jacob Jacob Schick was his name and he wanted to make a razor that worked on the pretty much the same principles 
as the rifles. So he came back, started to check Repeater Razor Company, and then ended up selling the company off to Eversharp. And I guess he had like booked it up to Canada. I think maybe possibly because of tax issues. And um, wanted to start his electric shaver company up there. So. Eversharp did the. style of injectors where, you know, you put the key in, but this is really nice. I ended up getting this razor along with a 1938 Gillette Senator in beautiful condition, which I'll use in an upcoming video soon, to, uh, or my girlfriend got them for me as an early Valentine's gift. Because I didn't have a repeater or a senator in my collection, and I wanted both. So she ended up getting them both for good deals. They're on Etsy, actually. The Senator came from Vintage Blade there on Etsy, and I believe the injector was One Stop Shape Shop. Anyways, I'll go ahead and rinse. There we go. Now, soaps, pretty, like I said, pretty firm, so I had to work it for a bit to get a lather. And it is, I don't know if I mentioned, it's an oatmeal base. So, so let's see. Go ahead and lather up for the second pass. Anyways, um, our new subscribers, for the new subscribers here on the channel, is Clinton Brooks and Carlitos Shaves. Carlitos, I know, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. You have a channel. I'll go ahead and check that out here soon. So. Got some soap in my mouth, dang it. Now, when I got the samples from Sledhead, I actually joking around asked them if that little heart-shaped puck wasn't soap or a snack because to my nose, to my nose, it smelled like chocolate. But now that I'm lathering it, it just has a clean, clean, fresh scent. Nothing real overpowering. So, I like it. And, um, it, uh, it's doing fine as far as slickness goes. It's a thinner lather. I don't know, maybe I didn't just touch too much water. But as you can see, I'm having no trouble running the razor across my face. Update on the straight razor. 
um, person that's doing it for me contacted me and the other day and said hey I'm gonna start working on those scales today so we'll see how that goes because it was you know, he said that the scales had a twist to them some twisting to them so he's gonna try and straighten them and but he's not giving no guarantees about them not breaking and I understand that but he is going to do his best to get those scales straight without breaking But if they do break, well, it'll kind of suck. But like I told them, they're organic material being horn. So. There's never no guarantees. There we go, second pass. Second pass down. The brush is doing well. Used it once before already. some more soap it's kind of dissipating a little bit or it could be the fact that this brush is just hogging the lather so to speak I'll just mix up some more from my noggin smell is it the best formula soap I've ever used as far as soap bases go no but I'm not don't really have any complaints soap's doing a job it's its job as far as keeping the or as far as giving the razor plenty of slickness and glide so I do appreciate that <laughs> Of course, it's hot as heck here. I hope wherever you live, you're staying cool. Yeah, that soap's just dissipating off my face. So, I just got my chin and overlook to do.
Yeah, bomb. You're in the market for one of these repeaters. Make sure it's got all the parts. Because these just don't, you know, you can't just use a key on them. There's no word to insert an injector key. Blade buffing. Yeah. Okay. I'll move that right there. Slickness is okay on this soap. There we go. Anyways, I'll go ahead rinse off here and uh, I'll be back for the alum. Alright, guys, go ahead and wet my Magger Salmon block. Not bad. A little bit of stinging around the mouth. A little down here. But oh no, not bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. The shout outs. Can't remember if I gave them or not. Anyways, the shout outs are. Carlitos Shaves and Clinton Brooks. Welcome guys to the channel. I hope you enjoy it, your time here. And um, you know, uh, feel free to share whatever knowledge you got about shaving down in the comments whenever you choose. Anyways, like I said, gonna go ahead and rinse off and everything and I'll be back for the post. Face is great. That repeater went ahead, missed the spot right there. I'll get that real quick. Anyhow, there we go. But anyways, the face is great. The head, not bad. Yeah, it's a little bit of stuff up on top. Here on the side. I'll get that shortly. Anyways, pretty good shave and all. Um, the oatmeal based soap. Eh, not the greatest soap I ever used, but it's not bad. It worked just absolutely perfectly fine. The Type A4 repeater, absolutely wonderful razor. Um, very efficient. I mean, it went through four days of growth pretty easily. Um, the brush, don't know a lot about it, but it ain't bad. I went ahead because I didn't feel like sitting there and whipping up some more soap. So for my head, I used palm olive um, shave cream. Anyways, and that worked out absolutely great. So let's go ahead, slap on some witch hazel.
just a little bit of sting because I'm still breaking out on the back of my darn head. So hopefully that calms down soon once everything's dried. I got some medication I'm going to put on it. Um, Post-shave balm. I want to go with something nice and soothing. So let's go with the Sterling Arcadia. Add it a little bit too much. Went ahead, applied alum to my head after I got done shaving it, and it bit, it bit pretty decently. So, not the smoothest head shave I've ever received or gotten, but not bad. And the aftershave. Uncle John's Finn McCool. Uncle John puts a decent restrictor in his aftershaves. So, all right, that feels great. It's got a good scent, too. I really like this Finn McCool. Very, very nice indeed. Well, everybody, that's the shave. Once again, I want to welcome the two new subscribers, Clinton and Carlitos. Anyways, that's the shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do so if you would please and kick that bell for all notifications and I will see you. oh yeah if you need to reach me by email for any reason whatsoever whether it's dealing with blindness shaving or if you just want to reach out and talk uh, feel free to contact me at all lowercase no spaces just lance 59 at gmail.com anyways i'll see all of you on the flip side of the way bye bye now